Hi guys, Katie Mild. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I just want to tell you a really quick story and I'm, this just happened today. Um, what is today? It is August 27th. It's a Thursday. Um, this video I'm going to be posting like in the next few weeks. So when you see this, it will be in the past, but I just wanted to get the story out while it's fresh on my mind because I think it illustrates something that is just it's so important when you're looking at how you manage your money. Okay, so this morning, um, normally I, I work from home. My husband works from home because of the pandemic. But today of all days, he needed to go into the office. So he was going to go take our daughter into school on his way to work. So we're going about our normal morning routine. We get our daughter up, get her breakfast, time to go. We get her out to the car. We're strapping her in the car seat. I'm about to say goodbye to them. My husband goes to turn the ignition nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. So we think, okay, he tries it again. Nothing. Um, he does it a couple more times. We quickly realize, okay, it's probably the battery. So what does this mean? Our morning routines kind of shot. Oh, I should have also mentioned we are a single car household. So this is our only vehicle. So our only vehicle is now down for the count. So the routine is shot, right? Because now you're trying to figure out, well, how do we solve this, get the car fixed? I run over to the neighbors, they bring their car over, they try to jump us, nothing. So we call the tow truck, we get our daughter out of the car, we get her situated back in the house, we're looking at getting it into a shop, we're looking at rearranging, you know, all, just all the logistical stuff that comes with now dealing with a car battery or whatever it is. Here's what we weren't doing. We weren't worrying about the money. And this is so important. We weren't worrying about the money because of a couple things. One, we have a very healthy emergency fund. And two, we have a sinking fund, a fund specifically set aside and labeled for car repairs. Okay, so while it stings a little bit that we're going to have to write this check and we weren't planning on it, the sting isn't so bad because we were prepared. Guys, this illustrates why everybody needs an emergency fund and the amount's going to change for everybody. It just depends on your situation, your income, your current debts that you're trying to pay off and your life situation. But everybody has to have an emergency fund because quite honestly, emergencies, inconveniences like this, they strike when you least expect them, right? And having an emergency fund allowed us to view this as merely an inconvenience and not something that's going to derail our household right? So a couple of tips for your emergency fund. I recommend at least three to six months worth of lean expenses in an account. If you can save up to a year's worth, that's fabulous. It's a wonderful stretch goal, um, but at least three to six months. If you have a family, if you have children or maybe a parent who's depending on you, if you're, if you are supporting other people in your household, try to err on the higher side of that because you just never know, especially with little kiddos, right? Um, aim for three to six months, automate contributions monthly. And then I would also make sure that when you do have those contributions going, make sure that they are one of the top line items, one of the top priorities in your budget, because you should consider a contribution to your emergency fund as a non-negotiable. It's just like how I tell you to pay yourself first with your retirement accounts. You need to pay yourself first with an emergency fund account too. Now, in terms of the sinking fund, sinking funds are when you anticipate upcoming expenses uh, coming up in a relatively short amount of time, right? So a lot of people have a Christmas sinking fund because we know December 25th comes every year and they're going to be saving for Christmas presents. So we have a car repair sinking fund because we know inevitably you are going to have repairs, you're going to have oil changes. You could also throw car registration in there. That's an annual expense that we know comes every year. Okay, so you will set up contributions to a sinking fund the same way. The amount may be smaller than the emergency fund, but you still want to get a separate account set up and automate, automate, automate those contributions. I can't stress enough. It was stressful enough today going through the, oh my goodness, we only have one car and now the battery's dead and we got to get our two-year-old off the daycare. But not having to worry about the financial aspect of that was a huge blessing and a huge peace of mind, okay? So I definitely encourage each of you, go build your emergency fund if you haven't already. Um, three to six months, at least aim for a year. Start small if you have to. It's okay if the amount is small in the beginning. The point is to build the habit of automatically contributing to it. That's all I have. Go get that emergency fund started. Have a great day. Bye.